Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Brad's Bourbon Reviews. I'm Brad and today we've got another bourbon. This is something I have been looking forward to getting my hands on for a while. I've seen it in a few places, it was overpriced. It only cost me $63. Uh, I got it at my local Target today. Uh, and it is the Knob Creek 12 year. This is a bottle I have been jonesing to try. Um, for whatever reason, it's kind of hard to find here. In Florida, I've seen it, at least in my experience, I've seen it a few places. Yeah, I saw it one place for $125. That wasn't gonna happen. So I waited, I kind of stuck it out, and I finally found it today at retail. And I'm excited to dig into this. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big size Knob Creek fan. I'm not like the biggest fan of Knob Creek, but I really, really, really like the nine year. I've heard mixed things about this bottle, and that's why I wanted to get my hands on it and try it myself. 12 years seem to be like a magic number for me with bourbons. It's just like it's perfect. It's not too oaky, it's not overly aged, but it does have some age on it. So let's see if I like it, I'm curious. Um, for those curious, it does clock in at 100 proof. So it, uh, I'm expecting it to be a little, a little spicy, but let's see what we got. Ooh, I can smell it jumping out of the bottle already. Oh. Wow, that is a beautiful nose. Some really, really strong vanilla and tobacco notes on this. Like a black cherry or something? Really heavy oak in a good way. Really heavy oaky, really heavy vanilla and tobacco notes. Those are the three major things I'm getting at. And a strong cherry note. But like a, almost like a cherry cough drop or something. That is a gorgeous nose i really like that wow man that smells fantastic this is what i love in bourbons these notes right here vanilla oak thick dark rich brown notes that's my jam in bourbon for the most part i do like you know antique 107 has got like some fruitiness to it and some creaminess to it but this is just this is like right there up my alley that is beautiful that is beautiful I could smell this all day. All right, let's do a mouthing and see where we're at. Okay. Okay. Oh, that Kentucky hug is strong right there. When I say this, hear me out, because I don't mean that it is literally what I'm going to say it is. But this is like a perfect bourbon in the sense that this is everything that I personally love in a bourbon is in this bottle. This, the nose matches the palate. It's dark, it's smoky, it's oaky. It's just, it's perfect. And I hate to use that word because it makes it sound like it's the, it's not my, it's not like my number two all time favorite bourbon, not my number one. But this is a bottle that if I see this again at 63 bucks, I'm buying it every, I'm buying this every day. This is absolutely delicious. It is very oaky, but it's not so oaky where I think it would turn off people. It's, it's not something I would recommend for beginners because I feel like you have kind of to ease your way into this. That's a perfect age bourbon. I love it. I, I, I love it. I have nothing to critique about it. It drinks very under its proof. It's just really, really good. I'm so excited I got this today. There's, there's more cherry on the palate than there is in the nose. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. That's good. Wow. I'm very happy with this bottle. <laughs> God. This made me love Knob Creek. Oh, I always really liked it before, but this, like, Man, I, I, I actually, like, I want to find the 15, but this is so good. Like, it's, it, I feel like the 15 would, would be more harsh and, like, not as enjoyable as this. I got to try it honestly before I know that, but I feel like the 15 is kind of, can be over oaked in some, in some bourbons. This is perfect. The mouth feels great. Oh, my God. I'm really loving this. Home run. That's a great bourbon. 
Um, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Also, make sure you check me out on Instagram at Brad's Bourbon Reviews. Uh, I post some stuff there from time to time. I'm not really good at Instagram. <laughs> I gotta get better at it. But thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys on the next one. Until then, cheers.